are not surprised, but still upset. Well, yeah, Greg, this has been a long time coming, and today Oakland sports fans are hanging up their ace hats for good. It's a loss. It's a loss that we're feeling. A devastating loss for fans who've given their heart and soul to the A's for decades. My dad took me to games. I took my boys to games. Now I'm taking my granddaughters. The A's are playing their last season in Oakland before they pack their bags for Sacramento, leaving behind a sports legacy in Oakland that cut across barriers of race and culture. There was a legacy here. If you were a good Paul player in Oakland, you could make it anywhere. Paul Brecky Meisner is a super fan and an author who wrote about local sports in Oakland and the impact left behind on the children and the legends Oakland created. There's a lot of uh, athletes like Dave Stewart and Ricky Henderson, those kind of kids that played in the shadow of the Coliseum. And with the loss of a third franchise in five years, fans are saying good riddance to the A's owner. John Fisher doesn't realize what he's losing. But he never knew what he had. The greatest place on earth. Look at that. It's beautiful. With the team in the process of taking part ownership of the Coliseum, the future of the venue is still uncertain, as the city is negotiating with the team to sell their portion to a developer. I assume there's no chance they'll go to SAC for a game. No, nah, hell no. Fans say they'll continue protesting outside games this season, and they're shifting their support to the new team, the Ballers. I think it's devastating, but it, at least we have clarity, and at least now we can look at what the future is going to hold. City officials say they're still fighting for an expansion team to call Oakland home. This isn't the end of pro sports in the town. The roots are here, the soul are here, the spiders are here, and the ballers are here. And we're going to, you know, I think we're going to take the torch and begin a new chapter for sports in Oakland. Now, some of those fans say they are going to attend the last home game at the Coliseum for the A's, but the B's are stepping up to the plate. They have spring training tryouts on Saturday and their first home opener in just a couple of months at the Raimondi Park in West Oakland. Greg, back to you. Yeah, definitely the ending of a chapter here. Crystal Bailey live in Oakland for us. Crystal, thank you. Well, for